To configure your receiver to RTK via radio, you need to do this via the GNSS tile. Press this, then select the Edit button. Once in the GNSS setup, select Correction Source to Center Point RTK. You will need to ensure that you have a high accuracy license installed on your display for this option to be selectable. Now select the radio option and choose which form of radio you are connecting to. The options will vary based on the receiver you are connected to. If using a NAV900 you will have the option of a Trimble external 900MHz, Trimble external 450MHz or external radio. Trimble external 900 MHz and 450 MHz radios is referring to the AG820 radio, which is connected to the NAV900. If using the XEN 2050 and a TM200, you will have the option of internal 900 MHz or internal 450 MHz or external radio. The internal 900 and 450 MHz is referring to the AG815 radio which is connected to the TM200 module. In both cases, external is referring to a third party radio connected via RS232 to the receiver. Note, this option is not available if running autopilot with an XEN 2050 display. You can choose whether or not to enable or disable XFIL. XFIL is the fallback position for times RTK corrections are lost. It is recommended to always enable XFIL unless performing an operation where the utmost accuracy is important. Press the Setup tab to continue the setup of RTK via radio. If using a Trimble 900 MHz radio, set the network ID to the appropriate channel that matches the output channel from the base station. If using a 450 MHz radio, you will need to enter the frequency into the frequency table. To do this, select radio channel frequency option, then tap the incomplete frequency to see the option modify appear. Press on this modify button, enter in the frequency of the base station and a description to identify it. Be sure to press the green ticks to save the settings and return back to the main menu. If using a 450 MHz radio, you will also need to determine the link protocol. That is, if external radio is selected and a third party is connected to the receiver, you will also need to configure the board rate, the parity and stop bits, and also specify what correction protocol is being used, RTCM or CMR+. If the base station is running Secure RTK, you will need to enter in a Secure RTK key. Press the Add button to add a Secure RTK key. Enter the key and a description that identifies the base station that it applies to. Press the green ticks to save this and return to the main menu. If XFIL is enabled, you will need to set the XFIL frequency. This is the same frequency used as Range Point and Center Point RTX. For our region, select Asia Pacific. XFIL Premium is an unlock feature available which requires a valid subscription also. With this feature unlocked and a valid subscription, an operator can continue to operate on RTK level of accuracy at times of RTK dropouts for as long as the receiver is turned on. If the receiver is shut down, an RTK correction must be established long enough for XFIL Premium position to converge. It is important to select the correct base datum that the RTK base station is using for the most accurate XFIL position. The Trimble AG base stations use the WGS84 datum as the default. Lastly, if the base station you are connecting to is using CMR ID, this will also need to be entered into the display. CMR ID is a unique identifier to that base station. This enables the base to have the same channel ID, but different CMR IDs, reducing the chance of interference. Once these settings are complete, be sure to press the Save button to save settings and exit to the home screen. Once configured, view diagnostics to ensure you are getting the appropriate corrections and you have a successful connection to your base. You should see information regarding your base station such as name, distance from base, and whether or not you are receiving a valid correction. You should see correction age hover around 1 to 2 seconds. Mm -hmm.